As commissioners of the Electoral Commission, led by engineer Dr. Badru Chigundu, begin life outside the electoral body after 14 years, the people nominated to succeed the team could begin their seven-year tenure on a rough note. Even before the six new electoral commissioners, led by Court of Appeal Justice Simon Biabakama Mgeni, are vetted by the Parliamentary Appointments Committee, the Forum for Democratic Change Party says it will not recognize the team. So let's restructure the electoral commission. You can even postpone all the activities of the electoral commission until it is restructured. As the term of the Chigundu team was drawing to close just before the February elections, the opposition and civil society activists went around the country meeting people and calling for electoral reforms. They came up with a document dubbed the Citizens' Compact with proposals on the appointment of an independent electoral commission to conduct free and fair elections. But in replacing Chigundu's team, the president followed the current law that mandates him to nominate members of the commission with the approval of parliament. FDC spokesperson Ibrahim Semjunganda says the president did not act in accordance with the will of the people as documented in the Citizens' Pact. We had an opportunity to do with the electoral commission before 2016 elections, this time seven refused. It is not that we got to know yesterday that the term of the electoral commission is about to end. FDC is now preparing to move across the country, rallying the people to demand an independent electoral commission. So the workshops will be for two days, and after every workshop, we will conclude the activity with a rally in the major towns of the region. But the deputy government spokesperson has warned them against the move. Engaging in the political rallies and political campaigns now, that one is definitely difficult, and they would face a lot of challenges to do that. Written and informed police both at the national and regional level. So we hope they will cooperate. Colonel Shaban Bantariza has also warned FTC against rejecting the nominees to the Electoral Commission. If they want that changed, they need to go and change the constitution that empowers the president to appoint anyone of us. Once you are engaged in short-term solutions, you will never reach where you are going. FDC says their campaign begins on Tuesday in Barara, where they are expected to spend two days and close with a public rally. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.